How are you today? Thank you for being here and connecting with me. I'm ready to help you. So let's get to it. Remember, comment if there's something specific you'd like to discuss. I could set up a private reading. I don't have that set up with a link, but I'm open to helping in any way I can. And give me a like and keep connecting. I'm so great. I don't always include it in the videos, but I do use this, this bell. It's very special and it sets the tone, obviously the vibration, the connection I need. If you're wearing headphones, just be mindful. Um, sometimes it's loud, it just, it just is what it is. And I'll just remind you, it's a good time to breathe and connect with me. feel different so good after that I hope you do too I'll timestamp this in case you would like to move more quickly through the video review etc there will be timestamps in the description and the comments to make it easy for you all right first we're gonna do some Oracle astrological oracle to be exact there's intense planetary energy happening i'm going to use moonology oracle as we're approaching that full moon oh wow and white sage tarot because it's one of my newest decks oh and the ancestral runes so there is a lot don't go away don't go away here we go all right, guys, that's my water uh, for energy, too. Whoa, it flipped. All right, no wonder, Saturn. What I was starting to tell you is I asked for two, typically because the two together give a very strong message. Saturn and Uranus are conjuncting very soon. I believe it's the third time this year. Saturn is one of rules and regulations and traditions in contrast to the energy of Uranus. But anyway, I will pull the very specific meanings about this, but I'm not surprised that came up. Let's see what else our guides have for us source connection if you're affected by the full moon the moon energy like i am just keep being healthy don't go acting crazy like a werewolf i sometimes have to lock myself in the closet mars energy mars is also at play astrologically it's no wonder it came up. I had a feeling that the guides would want me to pass along this message of do as I say, not as I do with this full moon energy coming up. Please don't let your emotions, your um, needs and wants, which obviously are super important don't let them cause you so much angst in a situation that you have emotional instability or anger or conflict or fighting the divine message that was my intuitive message the divine message, when you see Saturn and Mars 
is to set strong boundaries against things and people that would harm you and defend them with calm, righteous strength. Okay, boundaries, strong, strong warlike energy. So you're going to need to balance this and obviously stick up for yourself and what you do need and want. Just be very diplomatic about it. Okay, now on to moonology. Please don't go away. The timestamps are there, but just stick with me for one hot second. Okay, this is intense full moon energy. It's in Gemini. There's a solar eclipse coming and the winter solstice. And we have two full moon eclipse. Wow. Just wow. So this is all happening and the spirit guides are connecting with us, confirming and validating this information. Hope you can see see that trying to keep my camera angle good for you guys and then new moon in Sagittarius luck is on your side happy birthday Sagittarians we are in your energy and I do feel we're being given a message that by the new moon Whatever boundaries and conflicts and things that you are maintaining, setting, working through the new moon time coming up will be significant for you. For you. I don't know why I go up when I end a sentence. All right. Full moon eclipse. I want to tell you what. Yasmin Boland has to say about this because it is a very special card. Okay. <clears throat> How you're going to attune to this full moon energy is to say to yourself, that which is meant for me will not pass me by. Anytime that you see this card, because of the eclipse energy, you need to take a glimpse into what is something deep down inside, so-called shadow work that you feel you need to do, the deep down stuff you need to let go, to free up, to let the luck come in. You know, the adage of close a door and another one opens. It's that energy. Just, it's hard sometimes the door is heavy and you're just pushing, pushing, closing it and locking it. Because that pushing through the energy, through that shadow work, the so-called darkness is going to let you be free of it. Amen. We get hung up on stuff and it's not necessary. It's a mindset. And I say that after being through decades of trauma. So I'm not talking out of my rear end. <sighs> So about the new, the new moon in Sagittarius, we will be actually moving into Capricorn, but this, this is telling you, hang on, this is coming up. These are new beginnings and luck is on your side. So I want you to go ahead and make the plan, get ready to execute it. You do, you do need to be more disciplined to reach this goal. It's going to take hard work. Like I said, clearing out that shadow work, 
pushing that friggin' heavy door closed so you can pull open the new one is just an intuitive thing I'm telling you. What Yasmin Bolin says, pulling this card at any time, suggests that with planning and discipline, you, yes, you, can achieve whatever you set your mind to. So that could be setting these boundaries, obviously with Saturn, and being, don't be warlike, but be strong and be energetic. That is, that is what you can get from this Mars thing happening. And I mean it. It's a Mars thing happening. All right. On to White Sage Tarot. Oh, I picked this up at a amazing store. But I digress. Let's move on. Stick with me. Remember the timestamps. Remember to like so I know you're here with me. Comment about things I could help you with or questions you have or things you think I need help with. I'm open. Let's connect. All right, moving on. Stick with me, Tarot. And then All right. Right. let's see what these Tarot cards have to say about this strong energy that you're wrapping up something intense and starting a new goal. And I want to connect with you and see what's coming up. You be sure to let me know how things are going with you. That's all, I wanna help. That's why I'm here. It's solely to support each other and build a community of like-minded people. Major Arcana, Wheel of Fortune. You've done a lot of the 3D hard work. The big time the, of change is coming. The wheel is turning. Boop, 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 boop. Sorry for the sound effects, but I feel this energy is picking up. It's picking up. You're just going. You're ready to take off into a very creative, elevated way of thinking that some refer to as 5D. And it's a 10, validating the completions. But like I said, when a door closes, as heavy and difficult as that might be, another one opens. That's the message so far. I don't know if it's about love, work. It's certainly about you, your endings, your beginnings, what you need. And it's now. It's in sad season. Endings are happening now. And by the new moon, whenever you see this, aha. Okay. Death card freaks people out, but don't let it. It is more confirmation of the change and the divine light that is coming. And if you see this, this awesome circle, there's so much divine, third eye energy coming in where you're moving 3D, 4D. Um, there's fire energy here galore. Water, earth, and air. So you all are represented here. Very hard to find anyone who hasn't felt this. Okay. Eight of Cups just flew out. The water energy. They're like, you know, don't leave me out. These White Sage Tarot cards are by Teresa Hutch. 
eight of cups for her and for you the message is move on change can be hard like that door i've been talking about pushing pack up your essentials but travel light with these cups precariously stacked see that there is bound to be some spills and breaks destruction and creation go hand in hand that is about the difficulties of letting go and closing the door accepting change i don't like it i do believe that change is opportunity so please remember that do you see a trend here though when you those connecting you guys i understand how hard change can be you probably want to curl up in the bed Oh, ten of wands more fire more completion don't forget with all this endings that luck is coming up really soon so i want to tell you about that Let's touch on the Ten of Wands really quick to give you a little more insight. I think you've been too, too busy and the load has been too heavy. Oh my gosh. Just, you're almost there. Just click the door. Click it and turn the lock. Uh, let's set us up ourselves free let's focus on this wheel of change destiny we cannot stop the energy is going to come fast you guys are sick of this so hold on it's the luck is coming in cards are popping there ace of swords that is the beginning that is the beginning, I'm telling you. That is the air energy that's going to clear this out. Get you Mars in this air energy, gonna get you moving forward. Teresa Hutch says this is new mental clarity and insight, all right? Hallelujah, told you. Lock that door. Lock it. You're, and just be like, okay, no regrets. Can't look back. Moving forward. And in comes clarity. Not sure. Again, what this is about, you know, you comment. Look at that. Ten of Cups. So now I feel... All right, more water energy went from eight to 10. You, the mental clarity is coming in. You're getting more emotionally balanced. Don't let the full moon rock you. Don't let this Mars, all this planetary energy that's the eclipse, don't let it rock you because you have infinite possibilities coming in. Infinite possibilities coming in. 10 of cups. Teresa Hutch says that, oh, in her words, it's party time and celebration time. And where I am, we are moving, we are in holiday celebration time and New Year's Eve, new beginnings. Hold on, hold on, you guys. Uh, it's an incredibly positive card. There's creative and emotional stability, clarity, and endeavors. I want you to just sit back and take it in now. You closed that incredibly huge vault door, and you feel super good about it. Oh, my God. You're about to open up the most beautiful sliding glass door onto an infinity pool that you're going to take a dive into and come up 
in the most beautiful daylight, blue skies, just feeling so ready for the new beginning. Let's see what our guides say. I'm gonna pull one more card, but, and I'm not pulling them, they're flying out. And then we're gonna pull two runes, 10 of swords. Well, okay. More validation. I need to pull another one. What's coming up, guides? What's coming up? We understand we're done in every which way. Every pen is represented here. Message from our guides. Knight of Cups. Woo! More beginnings, messages, working from a place of love and more. Oh, I can't wait. We got three beginnings in cups, knight of pentacles, beginnings of wealth, messages coming in, so much clarity, so much ability to communicate. I want you to know the intuition, the insights, and the ability elephants have to communicate without even a sound to each other. It's on a wavelength that we don't hear. They can communicate two miles range with each other and, and we don't hear it. They are so deep and intuitive. You do have the seven of swords, so we're gonna dive into that. This is some sort of just a warning of sorts. So let's see. Let's see what Teresa says. I say, luck is on your side. I can't tell you enough. And it's coming around the new moon, after the new year. And so many good messages are coming in with it. This Knight of Cups is working with love, that soft heart with a, a tough exterior. Um, this is an optimistic card with a call to action. Next, we're gonna look at the Knight of Pentacles. And I'm sorry, I just, I want to be as accurate as possible, even though this is validated a hundred thousand times. Knight of Pentacles, fresh start and ambition. Amen. Um, dependable and faithful. This is someone hopeful, bright, who shares a message of pri prosperity. The helmet that you see there is a symbol for the earth etched in the side. So I told you all, all elements are represented here. Behind him, the fields are bountiful. Appreciate, appreciate what you have and share the ex excess you don't need. That's how good things are gonna get. You're gonna be able to not only receive, but give so much when you do this. Seven of Swords, I feel like it's some uh, important message. So let me see what Teresa Hutch says about that. Well, no, I was wrong. And I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. Her message with this tarot card is you're the lone wolf courageous. You're dancing to the beat of your own drum, which is really necessary when you're going through change. There may be a person in your life who is acting in an unethical way. Okay, that's the message, the warning I felt there would be. You may be tempted to act out. Okay, so that unethical 
this is about Saturn and Mars. Whoever is acting in a way that is against your boundaries, Saturn energy, do not let it um, rock your emotions. You need to keep the emotional clarity I mentioned that came in. So that is, the guides really, really want you to understand how intense the full moon, new moon energy is, how intense the eclipse is, how intense these endings are for you, that you are moving from such a very earthly, grounded sort of materialistic way of living into a very elevated way of thinking and it is going to propel you through those changes to that easily slidable beautiful door it could be a sliding door it could be French doors, it could be, there could be no door and you just walk out to the infinity pool or the beach or your bungalow that sits over the water. The air is clear, the sky is clear and your future is bright. Rock it. All right, one last thing to do is pull the runes. Remember, there's timestamps if you're in a rush or you want to repeat this. And don't forget to give me a like and a comment. So subscriptions are great. Just liking lets me know that we connected and comments would be so supportive. But I understand you're busy, so let's get to it. Okay, I'm asking for two from our ancestral guides. We've been through changes of listening. Woo! Shut that huge, heavy door. Concluded it. We are ready to move on. Ancestors, spirit guides, guardian angels, source. What is the message? Power of prayer. This has been coming up every time every time. Go back and look at some of my shorts and recent videos. I believe it's in a lot of the shorts. You'll also find the shorts on TikTok. Uh, and then, oh gosh, this is a good one. <laughs> Drawing a blank. So let's get into the meanings of these. Power of prayer, protection, just like the otter is wearing a helmet and <laughs> these are beautiful. And the elephant is wearing a helmet. It's because you are so guided and protected moving forward. You may feel like you need to put on a helmet. Like that's how scared and worried you are. Uh, I'm telling you, your ancestors, your guides are here to say they're with you every step of the way. They're protecting you. They're helping you shut that huge door and open up that beautiful walkway. Um, also, I can tell you about this. The Ruin of Prayer is the rune of prayer, don't go away, protection. I wanna give you some more key words. It is Virgo earth energy and it is the, her the hermit and tarot. So, you know, that's going deep, clearing out the, sh doing the shadow work, getting over this type of transformation you see with the death card. It is the letter Z in this symbolic language 
the name is Algiz. And I do want you to also remember to trust your instincts, the guidance that you feel from the divine guidance you get through prayer and meditation, connection like this to your ancestors and be assured the divine will shelter you. Very positive, positive outcome. And as a reminder, they wanted, this is the rune of the ancestral home, power of ancestors confirming this message, confirming they're with you, confirming our connection. It also represents prosperity. Some of you inheritance, there, there could have been a literal death that is bringing in inheritance because it also is about home and wealth and the family that came before you. And lastly, to verify how connected we are, this represents the full moon in astrology and judgment, which is the Saturn card. So our timing is amazing. It couldn't be more accurate. We have validated these messages so many ways. I hope truly that this really uh, resonated with you. Give me a like. If it didn't, you still have to give me a like. But what I recommend is understanding your sun, moon, and rising sign, and also your true node or north node will make an impact on you. For example, I'm a Cancer rising, but my north node is Taurus. If this general message doesn't resonate with you, because it really is representative of all signs of the times, of the month, of the moment, and how to move forward. But if for some reason it doesn't, check out the other uh, videos, other reads about your chart, your North Node. But in life, almost all the time, having grown up on a uh, with horses and animals and farms and there's death and destruction every day. You just learn to pick yourself back up, let the souls go, let everyone live their lives and you live your life. Whatever is behind that door is done. It's just done, hun. It's just done. Nothing you can do. So, move forward with this, not this one, the strong Mars energy, but be kind of laid back like he is, like this God is showing you right now. And I want you to remember this adorable elephant. He did represent Earth, Virgo as well, which uh, I believe no, I don't believe I know is represented in the runes. That's all I have for you. My heart, my soul is with you as you go ahead and clear your mind. Do it. You have my support. Embrace the change. Change is opportunity and it's knocking. Don't miss it.